Yo, what is going on? I'm alive. Yeah, I'm alive. We're back. Um, if you haven't heard or seen the community page, uh, for the heavy heart, uh, we are ending the Chef Life series. Not gonna lie, it's gotten to the point where the grind's getting very long. Probably gonna be like four or five episodes to even get any point, and it's just a just a quite a grind. So uh, we'll probably just approach it in the future if there's any DLC. But uh, uh, it's time to move on, and move on we shall to uh, let's school. <laughs> Uh, basically a school building simulator if with somehow a weird dinosaur and all these other people. Let's just jump into it. Of course, we're gonna go to career mode. Let's see what, uh, nice town with a foothill. That's not bad. Uh, looks like a little river. Uh, Peony Springs. Ugh, that place looks horrible. I think we'll go with Soccer Valley. Looks more, more of a nice little city. Uh, we'll leave the defaults beyond that. No customizations. Maybe in the future, if, uh, once we're done with us, season we'll uh, maybe we'll come back with a customized season who knows well look at here we got a letter from the old headmaster who uh pretty sure is a cat pretty sure you know or it's just a uh um uh, a, a man who likes to cosplay as a cat or maybe or maybe uh he's uh he made a weird teleportation machine and uh a cat crawled in and he just became both like the fly if y'all remember the fly back in the day teleportation machine a fly gets in and then boom the dude's becoming a fly it's crazy all right so maybe that's why uh he's the old headmaster maybe he became a full-on cat and he's got on the prowl all right hey long time no see i'm the headmaster of the old school uh by the time you read this i will be retired and uh traveling the world the school you loved is in a bad state i tried my best but my best wasn't good enough now it's up to you. I'm asking you to take over the headmaster position. Please do what I only dreamt of doing. I've uh, hidden a treasure somewhere on the school grounds. If you revive our school, that treasure is yours. I'm gonna go treasure hunting, guys. <laughs> Alrighty. All right, we're preset. Look here, little boom. You know, I think my photo looks better than me. <laughs> I'd have to say so myself, but then again, usually the photo looks always about better than me. Okay. All right, we got everything set up for Lord's Academy. Nice little lotus with looks like a reef and then more lotus. You know, we're flowers upon flowers upon flowers at Lord's Academy. <laughs> uh, we got a nice little dress code. Let's get started, shall we? All right, we're driving in. Oh, 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 my, my foot clipped to the road, unplayable. <laughs> Old Academy. Oh, look at that. We already have somebody sweeping my floors. We just opened. Mmm. That building looks good. Don't know about that big hole in the wall in the front of the school. And the, the door has no door. Are you new to headmaster? Yes, I am the new headmaster. I am Miss Lynn, your assistant. Uh-huh, uh-huh. Yeah, sure. Feel free to ask me to help if you encounter any difficulties. Oh, uh, yeah, sure, why not? I might not have much experience, but I'll do my best. Well, you're the only person who stayed, so I guess you'll have to do. <laughs> it's not easy being a headmaster. Oh, I haven't uh, been told about your past work experience yet. Would you like to go through the tutorial? Um, no, because I want to rebuild stuff and the tutorial locks me in. The school's education goals are to admit more students and uh, help them achieve their aspirations. The higher the aspiration star level, the greater the rewards. You look like you have a lot of experience. Let's get to it. Yes, I do. All right. So let's pause everything because I want to make sure we get everything set up. So X is demolish and we're going to destroy everything here. Funny thing is, uh, the, the cracks on the wall are all the uh, stuff that uh, don't exist. We'll just delete this room from existence too. I think so funny that the, the cracks on the wall count as actual features in the building and uh, not actual stuff that's broken. Okay, so I want to remodel this entire place, but I need to get a classroom up and running because if I s sit back and remodel, we lose precious time. So, um, yeah, if you want to build first class school, you have to work hard in many different areas. Yeah. So, um, 
So I want to be the educational best. Uh, this is for getting all the high level students. Uh, we'll do that eventually because you can switch back and forth. Uh, the most beautiful school. Uh, I don't see that happening at this school, um, but if we uh, go with this one, this is just uh, I want students from all over. That's just adding because we can we can change that goal later. Yeah, so a nice choice. Let's educate ourselves to the goal of ours now. OK, so first and foremost, let's just build a classroom because uh, we need to. And then I can work on expanding the school from there. So we're going to make a maybe a five by five. Uh, with the door right there. Click there. There we go. A little chalkboard right here. Our teachers right there. So that green section is basically where the chairs would be. So three there, three there, three there. So let's move the door to this. Ugh. Really don't like that because they're like immediately going inside and there's a chair. Okay, so we're gonna expand the classroom to a six by five. <laughs> and then we'll just shove you right here for now. Mm, nice little double doors here. There we go. And then we need to decorate this. Um, we got the seats. We got nine students for the seats. Um. This, this student's just right up against the teacher's chair. That's a teacher's pet chair. Uh, these are the nerds, you know, the cool kids in the back. Yep, you know how it is. We got lunchbox holders, so uh, let's uh, put one right here if the game will let me. Okay. So usually when it does that, just put it on the wall and you slide over. Okay. So got the basics in here. Um, we are going to add uh, some decorational stuff make it look like an actual classroom flower there flower there get some lights which one's better this one's vision and decorative okay we'll, we'll add this for the decorative so um add one there and then one back there there should be enough lighting, I hope. And then I can't see what else I need until I activate it. So every classroom needs a homeroom teacher. Uh, Miss Lynn's available. There we go. We don't have students yet, but we can add those in a second. Um, so let's check the stats. So yeah, so that's not enough lighting. That's what I was worried about. So we need more lighting. Let's add one right above that desk and another one right above that desk. Okay, suitable lighting. Decorations kind of blah. That's fine. Hygiene. Uh, let's get a trash bin. Mm. One right there. Yeah, I don't like that. Um, let's put this... Uh, Put it back there behind the teacher's podium. Nice little place for trash. Um, so decoration still 13. Wish I could get more decorations, but we'll just have to add those in time. Um, actually, let's just move this over here. There we go. Got suitable lighting and everything. What's wrong here? Facility needs staff to operate. What? I'm the headmaster of my own school. What? Wait, what? <laughs> what? Um, we don't have this Lynn here. There we go. For some reason, it added me. I think that the game broke. OK, so we need students. The nearest set of students is actually right outside the door here. It uh, looks like Drake Uh Looks like she's very. Uh, I don't think she uh, thinks we're uh, good because she's Looking at me like, hmm, is that even a good school? Yeah, I don't know. <laughs> the students uh, from the screen are rather weak at the basics. Helping them achieve their aspirations will get you. Huh, okay. Uh, 
Okay, it would get you better fund rewards. Okay. Okay. So let's take a look here. So these students are they're pretty average and everything. Okay. Okay. Mm, they're forgetful. What's forgetful? Um, bad memory. Learn slower in humanities. So we're probably gonna have to put more humanities courses. Okay. They're normal situations. So they can pay me one hundred thirty dollars. That's not bad. Uh, due to family background. Each student brings an additional income of $13. Okay. Make $130, $43 a student. Not bad. Then their aspirations are going to the Marina Heaven College of Marketing. So they want to go to a marketing school. Um, so um, I get $840 if they pass. Okay. Uh, for um, so that green symbol is humanity symbol. Uh, basically, uh, let's go with the UI. This is humanities points. These are science points, these are arts, and this is basic sports. Um, looks like uh, this early set at school is just humanities and science, so I don't have to focus on very much. And then, uh, of course, we get bonuses uh, by full marks, which means they get an A+. And it cost me 334 to get them in there. That's fine. Yes, you drink one in there. Boom. Okay. Thank you. Open for admission. So we have seven students out of the nine. <laughs> Net ease, you, you, okay. Uh, yeah, sure. Um, you're a gaming addict. Uh, exceptional video games always carries a gaming console, so he might be a problem uh, with just getting students trying to play games, so that's fine. Um, so we need nine students in the school. That's is that perspective five, so add that in, and then we'll see if the application pulls any more people in. So now um, we have the first day of school worth of people in. There we go. Then yes, we need courses. So once again, they need humanity. So we're going to have them like a whole humanities day. Uh, how's that look? That's, that's a bit of points. So um, science day. Okay. Okay, science day is feeling the same. So about another humanities day. Okay, uh, science day. And then the last week, we're probably gonna raise her teaching proficiency because it's kind of low. And then we're gonna put two science. Oof. I don't like that. That's a tier two course. Um, so. No one's passing with that because they don't have enough science now. So add science. Okay, that's not good. We take that back. We put another science class here. So the forgetful one's gonna fail. So um let's boost her teaching ability. Ooh, they redid this UI. It used to be at the bottom. Now it's up here. So the glasses here tells you what their maximum proficiency. So she can go up to 40 uh, for stats, so that's not bad. So when you're, we're gonna boost her uh, training proficiency for 500, it takes three hours, okay, done. So he's in, she's in training. Hopefully that'll raise her points up enough. If not, I'll start having to train them some more. Okay, so that's good. Um, we have my podium to give uh, speeches on. And now we uh, need to start rebuilding a few things, so. While our students are working here, we're going to rebuild a bit and I'll be right back. All right, we are back. Uh, I think I fairly got most of the school cleaned up. Uh, we've merged the buildings together, fixed up everything. So we have at least a base foundation to work with. Um, I, I'm glad they patched it where you can actually finally clean up the entrance because the entrance was horrible originally. But now it's good to go. The environment looks horrible, but that's because it's a huge building with nothing in it. But uh, a single building. So the first day event here is your students are turning delinquent. Uh, Let's Prank is a popular uh, drama series uh, currently being aired on television. Students uh, would be uh, naughty once uh, they get their hands on it, making them much harder to manage. All right, so we'll get that. Miss Lynn's finished her training, so 
let me see if that did anything. Uh, so that's good. So everything's passing, but now we need literature fundamentals, which I was worried about. Is there was science in here. Yeah, we're gonna need more science anyway. But they're gonna pass. They're gonna pass for now. So I think we're gonna have to just research anyway, because uh, it's starting to look like we're gonna have to do some research. So I might as well train myself. What's this? Uh, I can't train myself any further, which is fine. Get my teaching proficiency up a little bit. Uh, so we're going to have to get a research department up and running. I'm going to put my office right there. We can delete that door. OK, so we're probably going to have the administrative rooms out this way. So eventually I'll have a bunch of admin rooms, but facilities, we need research. So that needs to be 18 squares. So there's has three by six, but we're gonna do a six by six room. That's a lead research desk, I'm guessing. Yep. Research board. We're gonna have six research things. We're gonna I'm making this room big because eventually I need bigger places. So I'm gonna prep that stuff ahead of time. And then we need somebody who can work in here. So you're a good science teacher, so we can probably put you as a side person. And Oliver Curie, you have no management experience, but Bianca, you have lots of management experience. <laughs> And then you're a researcher. No, no. Bianca's that. And then you're a sub researcher. So that should put my research at what's 13? Okay, 13. Okay. So um education. We're gonna need these classes. So we need 20 points. So I might need to hire somebody else in here. Uh all right, so you're hired too because I, I just need an extra researcher. Okay, so we're good here. Um, we still have high management. Yeah, done. I should be able to research that. And now I need a place to put these classrooms. Jeez. Hi, uh, hello. Master, I am Miss Sweets, uh, the school's lifestyle consultant. The students request a tea room so they uh, may have drinking water. You should do uh, your best to satisfy all requests and ensure uh, good quality of life here. Okay, yeah. Um, so now that we have that set up, I can start working on these requests. Um, actually, I don't like this awkward like opening area. So well, let's move my speech area right here um yeah i will face the students when i give my speeches okay and then we'll i'll just clean that up shortly um let's expand the school leave that tree yeah okay. once that's done we're gonna move the classrooms over there I'm making this entrance wonky like this because this is my security room eventually. I'm just planning ahead on the building. Because I'm going to expand the entrance out and then just put a door right there. Hey, students. Your classroom is over here now. And then... We're gonna put your tea room. Maybe the tea room across the hall. Hmm. Probably pretty awkward since we're gonna have the. Oh, but actually, we'll put this here. So. I want that to be my security office area eventually. So. We are going to make a five by five size tea room. There. 
now we need some lights. So I'll put the decorative light above here. Another decorative light above here. Let's close this room so I can see what we are working with. No decorations. So I'll put that there. Um, add a window so they can look outside. I think we can get some specific windows. Like I think this one's a decorative window. Yes. And then I think we can just add a, another decorative window so we can look outside. There we go. Got that there. I'm going to have another two classrooms this way. And then once I build those two classrooms, we can expand out. Hmm. I want everything even, so we'll we'll, keep, we'll leave that that, like that for now. So that's the security office here. Um, with the tea room. So, man, woman's bathroom needs to be twelve squares. I want the security room to just encompass all of this. So I'll do a five by three. Five stalls. Hygiene. Now uh, we'll put a couple sinks there. Three sinks there. Then lights, or deck of light there, and another deck of light there. There's no environment, but it's a bathroom. There's not supposed to be. sinks. Actually get my deck of lights here and here. Three sinks. There you go. Men's room, women's room set up. Now we need to start actually thinking about the essentials uh, like hygiene, um, put some cleaning kits, like, uh, one out here. Um, actually, there we go. One, one there, one there. Put one outside this classroom. One out there. There. Eventually we'll fill in these box. Um trash cans. Uh, let's get some trash cans. Um put one there. We'll put one uh Oh, outside each of these main buildings, even though we don't need them. Security. Security is the huge one. Need a fire alarm? Mm. Put a fire alarm right here above that. Um, another one above this classroom. One in front of my outside here. Now we need actual firefighting gear. So put that one there. One in this corner. And then one outside this classroom. Okay, so that covers that. And then lights are just hideous right now. So. Just put one right above here. Just eliminate that. Okay, so we got the facilities. I think I got all the basic facilities. So now we just wait. The school looks hilarious right now, but it will have to make do. 
So what are we looking at? So humanities courses are going through. Uh, nature calls, so you got the toilets. Um. So yeah, good, confirm. So it's science week again. And then these students will all be passing. It's just I need more algebra classes. The science 101 is going to be filled up, but yeah, we're good. Let's do some more training. I want your training proficiency up. Since we're going to be learning all these classes already, I might as well have you ready to go. And what we got going on here, we have an event. Froggy Dash. A student brought a frog to school, affecting uh, the normal class order. Assign a teacher to take care of it as soon as possible. Um, yes, yeah, so, wow, Oliver, you're way, you're the closest person way over there. All right. Get in there, get that. Stop and say, no duty, and I won't. Okay, get there. Once we get the classes up and running, we might need to get them some form of food. Okay, so we're good there. Students are at least somewhat happy. Do we have any students yet? Um, we do. And then, what are we? Uh, continue research. Uh, let's get junior sciences. What are my classes set up at currently? Uh, we have five out of nine, which means I need four more students. And those are the four, and they're all forgetful. Great. It's good. <laughs> Great. Okay. And what's going on here? Uh, Froggy Dash again. Uh, Olivia. We need you up and running. So you're all suspected to pass for now. For now. School satisfaction decreased to medium. What's wrong? Uh, no, everybody's somewhat happy. Okay. So we're getting that set up and running. Students are heading home. The first day of school is about to end. If you haven't used to the school yet, yeah? Let's work hard and be the best school ever. Yeah, let's. Um, what are we looking at? So literature fundamentals. Yeah, we already set up for you, ma'am. Um, let's, you know what? I'm already up, so we might as well uh, boost my stats a little more while we're here. We've auto saved. New school day has begun. I believe we got new stuff for the classroom. So edit the class. Yes, we do. We got a small humanitarian bookshelf. Um, let's put the bookshelf there. There we go. Uh, oh yeah, we're gonna have to move the school poster though. We'll put it on this side of the classroom now. Oh God, there we go. There we go. Students are here. $143 a student. Not bad, not bad, not bad. <laughs> Eventually, we'll probably have to make bigger classrooms just for the stuff I have to add into it. Time for class. Today's topic is blow up everything. <laughs> oh. Headmaster, headmaster, I have uh, something to say. All right. Let's see. I'm starving, Headmaster. Is there anywhere I can buy some food? Oh, yes, yes. The students are requesting a food tent to resolve food issues. You need to research that first. Um, so we still have like three or four days for... Actually, we got half a day left. Um, so yeah, let's do food tent. Only three days. And then... Yes, I know y'all have hungry. We'll get a food tent up soon because I have plenty of stats for you. Uh, more froggy dash, jeez. 
How many frogs have I confiscated at this point? <laughs> At this point, I'm going to move my speech thing way over here. Any hey, research uh, back to junior sciences. Thank you. Okay. Then we got a food tent. So let's build a food tent out here. Food tent needs to be 18 squares. Um, We are going to actually make it 20, 30 squares. And then you'll buy stuff here. There we go. Pile of materials. Uh, We will sell this thing that's that's then I need to hire another employee. Um cheapest one, you're the cheapest one, okay. Because you're just gonna be uh my nutritionist from now on, Gregory Malone. Okay, so yeah, I got that. Now I just need to clean this up because up uh clean up the stuff around here too there we go okay training course complete okay how we looking how we looking our students are gonna be passing I like it mm. let's uh train her um up a little bit too what we got New facility, yes. And money, okay. Once I get that up and running, um... Hopefully we can just maintain that. Because I want to, you know, get the other stuff up and running. Okay, what we got? Secretly gaming. Some students are secretly playing a video game. Um, sure. I'm strolling. Okay. Yo, stop. Die. Good job. <sighs> Lots of stuff I've confiscated today. Okay. Uh, continue research. So we got all that. We don't need arts and sciences. Um, management. Let's get a staff break room for my employees because they're probably going to get tired soon. And then. I believe we have others. Trigonometry ruler. Um, let's put go ahead and put it uh, on this wall back here. They are expected to pass so far, which is wonderful. Cool marks across the board, which is good. Except for this one. So let's take that away and add a literature class. Take our science away. Oh no, we need that science. Yeah. So maybe after she finishes training, it'll be enough to push them over. School starting another day. Yep, everybody's expected to pass. Wonderfully. Wonderful. She just finished her training, that's why. Okay. So, everybody's expected full marks. So, I'm going to train myself up one more notch and we should be good to go. 
28 seems to be a good training proficiency. Half the week is over now. Uh, we must uh, keep close eye on every classroom's aspiration progress. If course schedule and uh, in the course schedule, make sure many students achieve their goals. Yes. Uh, yeah, I've been doing that. We good. We good. We're we're everybody's passing now, so that's good. And then once we get staff break rooms, these guys will have break rooms and they can rest. Our research, yay. Mm -hmm. Time for lunch. Enjoy your food, kid children. And master as master, what would you like? Um, let me guess. Uh, after a few days of hard work, the teachers have been asked for a break room. Uh, so they can, yeah, yeah, I'm working on, well, actually, we're almost done with that. <laughs> so we're actually getting there for you guys. Okay, what we got? Um, another frog instant, of course. <sighs> yeah. Soon you guys will get your setup. Continue research. Let's get campus security up and running. Now I'm just at a uh, break room. Staff break room. Um, okay, let's see. So we got that. We got a coffee station. We'll, we'll put the coffee station here. And then another coffee station there. Um, a couple of coffee tables up. A couple single seats here. photo um in here okay lights let's move these to the corner is that looks kind of tacky being outside okay got the room Everything looks good. Had a couple of windows. Mm, windows. There we go. And research, yes. You guys get some nice full windows too. Okay. What do we have? Oh. Ah, stray cat has appeared. Um, yes, we will take him in. Kitty! Yes. Yeah, I'll take care of the little guy. Don't worry. Okay. So, we are definitely gonna have everybody pass. We're good there. Um, let's add a new training plan. Let's do some management proficiency. Um, Bianca, can you do management? Yes, can. Okay. Like my training should be good. We're teaching geometry and algebra right now. Jeez, my students are on point. Have a good day, children. The food is disgusting, I know. We only have a generic food cart.
We'll work out it, children. I'm sorry, okay? For two days left, these students are wonderful. Uh, more secret gaming. Uh, yes. Stop them. Oh, more demerits. Yeah, we got cleaning supplies. Sanitation's at 90, so. Got campus security up and running. Um, get a playground, and then we'll start working on everything else. Buildings, security room. Until we get those other upgrades, we'll just set that like that for now. Then we use staff table for the guards. And then equipment box, we'll put right here. There. And then we need a door. Now they need to be able to get out. Okay. Hire two people. Um, use and a U. Yep. There. Now we got security. Two more days into exams. How are students doing? If their progress slows down or stops, remember to swap in a more suitable teacher before too late. Yeah, I know. Once we get this playground, I think we're gonna have to start uh, implementing other stuff. Okay, so let's do school reform. Allows it upgrade school, but also allows us to get tier two uh, stuff. Uh oh, what's going on here? So this requires thirty points, so I need to hire another researcher. Let's hire you because you you have decent stats. And you are topped out until you finish your training. What is going on with schedule? Ah, oh, they have an ethics class. Okay. They need cellular biology now? Oh, God. So it's good I'm doing school reform. Cellular biology. Yep. We don't want to push anymore because now my research is going to be through the roof. New uh, student applications will only be sent in the first three days. You can use the last two days on focus on teaching. Yep. I was like, oh God. We need school reform points because I'm gonna have to, I've done the upgrade my science and humanities because they need to learn cellular biology now. 
cellular biology it's updating in my freaking school planner already okay we're gonna have to have a lot more researchers and all you guys can't do anything you have a management certificate, so I can turn you into a manager one day. We're going to hire you for now to be a manager one day. For now, you work in research as well. Ever for her to train this? So she's holding up training slots for everybody else, too. <laughs> Which is horrible. Our research speed should be through the roof, though. Because we have 49 research, and they only have... the 30 requirements, so... Ah, weekly exam is today. After school, the students will head over to the exam venue. We will... S we still have the whole day. Remember to, uh check on our students to rearrange courses and sure they do their best um nah we, we good for now we're good for now can't believe they need to sell your biology and that shenanigans too <laughs> everything's so bad Yeah, you know, and, and, and I'm going to fix that because this is hurting my brain right here. Uh, yeah, continue research. Um, yeah, we're going to need uh, intermediate science. <laughs> Thank you. That is horrible. Which means eventually I'm gonna have to expand the entrance out because it's all filter now. Because <laughs> I wanted it near the center, but I'm gonna be expanding the entrance eventually anyway. Actually, I can do it right now. So we're gonna move you over one notch. Oh, I can't do something. It's in the zone. Oh, okay. Hold on. Let's move you over one notch. Now. Move you over here for now. Here. Move the school entrance back over one. There we go. <laughs> We're gonna need some of those. Hey, we have those new bigger doors. Those cooler doolers. Granite main entrance. Uh. Research is slowing down. You need 51 points. Oh, God. So we need another researcher. Um, yes, you. And we're going to need a... Remember that researcher I had to add? We're about to take him out. <laughs> Finally at that point where I need to add researchers. Management building.
Uh, Miss Lynn. Yeah. And then you guys will get a new homeroom teacher. Uh, this lovely fella that I can find. I'm gonna just hire a new science teacher. <laughs> Eugene, okay. Eugene Lewis, you're the new homeroom teacher. Then yeah. so we got that set up and running. Um Get you some lights. Okay. Um. And then we're gonna do redo the entire management structure. I'll deal with that. <laughs> what else do we have? Security reform, emergency drills, family hall. Peace and stability is such a thing. Hygiene cleaning, so we can do cleanups, head infirmary, uh, peace simple. Uh, we're gonna have to start researching this soon too, once we get the classes done. And then a school store. All right, it's time for exams. Let's head to the examination hall. What will happen? Let's see and wait. Well, if everything goes well, you guys should be ready to go to the new semester. I might not be ready to teach you. Boom, nine out of nine, perfect. There we go. Um, that puts us, what, almost there, so I'll probably pick eighth place next semester. And then nine people, good grades, got some money. Our parents are so happy with us. Uh, they thought we'd be bad students forever, but our school reputation in the community has grown. Done. Okay. Results show that everyone has been putting in some efforts, especially you, Headmaster. Keep it going. So. We're gonna... I don't have enough money. Oh, oh, I have to... I have to be at school reform too to copy. So, let's just build a new classroom then. Classroom. At the new door.
Um, slogan. Nice. Slogan board right here. Put another one over here. I can't. Okay. Welcome where it has to be moved. We need lights. I got lights everywhere. Uh, windows. Teacher, um, yeah. now we got students. Do we have any enough students for the semester? Uh, one, two, three, four. Uh, okay, we got seven students in this year one class. We need two more. Efficiency kind of low because uh, that's just going to hurt me. You are maxed out, so let's move the break room back onto me. There we go. That leaves us some points for now. We'll probably move that researcher out if eventually. We get all these trophy points. Oh, we leveled up. Boom, level two school. Oh, geez. Done. And we got level up on us, so we got viewing this across memory gains. Okay, so that's 20,000 right there. I might actually put those statues up just, just because that was going to help these students. Um, so let's build those. Those are expensive, but they're kind of worth it. Uh, how about those stat buffs? That's going to help them learn better. Yeah, I know we, we're running short on monies. And she's already in training. Okay. okay. All right. So once we get our year two schedule set along, because uh, we got to get that science up and running. And then we'll add uh, all the other stuff. Crazy. Uh, how about a speech? Sure, let's add a speech out in the grass in the rain. Let's welcome our headmaster. Hi. What's going on, guys? I feel calm. Yes. So let's open with a friendly opening. Hi, welcome back to another semester. How you guys doing? Let's talk about the academics. You guys did wonderful in your studies last last year yeah yeah you guys like that all right so you guys all pass i'm gonna pen to commend all of you guys yeah you guys did great so uh we are gonna go with the scholarship to energize you guys yeah and then we're gonna oh let's do our best next semester yay 70 percent. great speech great speech okay Congratulations on your first school-wide speech, Headmaster. Were you nervous? There will be more topics for you to explore in the future. Here's the script I had uh, drafted before uh, about satisfaction. It might come in handy one day. All right, thank you. Lecture topic, Serene. Okay, so with that, um, I think, oh, what's going on back here? 
Um, so it's boiling in here. I'm melting. Add cooling. Okay. So before we end stuff, let's add our current temp fixers, uh, which is a literally a block of ice <laughs> for now. Um, Okay, there we go. All the rooms have ice stuff. Hey, Edmaster, I'm a farmer in the nearby village. The weather is getting really hot. I have a lot of ice back home. Take them for now. Uh, we don't want the kids to get heat stroke. Thank you. Feel much better now. Thank you, Edmaster. Uh, this is for you. Thank you. Uh, plum juice. Nice. Okay. So with that, um, I think it's finally a good place to call it a sesh. Um, Hope you guys enjoy the series. Uh, we'll be back uh, next time as we try to expand more of this festive school and uh, pray uh, nothing breaks. But yeah, we're probably going to get some new stuff because it's raining outside, but uh, definitely we'll get everything up and running. But uh, you guys have a nice one. I'll see you guys in the next one.